What's up everybody? This is Jordan Tremaine with another book review and today we're going to talk about this. Buy It, Rent It, Profit by Brian M. Chappas. So, um, as it seems, because there's a little house here, this book's about real estate. And this book, this book is a book. Um, the guy that wrote it, mad props to him because, um, he had a learning disability and he worked really hard and he had a lot of patience and built a real estate company and then he came back after he was like good at that, after he got his 10,000 hours and he wrote a book. He has a place called the Landlord Academy where he teaches people and he's trying to build the community and get people into a place where they, uh, they can do real estate. So shout out to Brian M. Chavez for... Um, doing that I think that's great to get into your field and then come back and help people um, I did a book review on some other book by a physicist I'll put the link in the, the thing below but um the demon haunted world there we go the demon haunted world was like that with physics um, but we're talking about real estate today but before we get any further you know, if you like book reviews, if you like listening to different perspectives and getting challenged or getting uh, new ideas put at you through all these different types of books, subscribe and like. Do that thing. Yeah. Okay, let's get down to the review. So this book, Buy It, Rent It, Profit, Make Money as a Landlord in Any Real Estate Market. I think it's cool because it it kind of breaks through a lot of preconceived notions about the real estate industry. I think a lot of times the difficulties we have doing something new really don't have to do with the actual thing. It's about our beliefs that we apply to that thing. Like a lot of people, before they start learning math, they already believe that math is hard. And that really makes it harder for them to learn math because they go into it like, oh, I believe this is hard. But if you don't have that belief, math is a lot easier to learn. And I think there's a lot of beliefs like that that make it hard for people to get into real estate. Like, oh, uh, I need to time the market right. Or, oh, it's very complicated. Oh, my friend lost a lot of money, so this is not a good thing to do. There's a lot of beliefs around real estate that make it seem more dangerous than it really is. And it's comp it's, it, it, there's a decent amount of complication. There's some work to be done. There's people to find and teams to build. But it's doable, and I think Brian M. Chavez does a good job of breaking down a lot of the the misnomers or the little excuses that people make for not buying or uh, when they have a bad experience saying like, oh, that's real estate just messed me over. Like, no, you, you didn't do your due diligence. You missed this step. You thought with your emotions instead of your head. Like, that was you. Um, but I think there's, there's a lot of good reframing that goes on in this book. Moreover, this book, out of all the real estate books I've read so far, this book was the hardest to read because it had the most useful information. Brian M. Chavez broke down like this whole thing. He talked about this thing called the Ciota Method, which if you read the book, you'll figure out about the Ciota Method. Um, and then he goes and gives you basically every form you would ever need or a template for every form and contract ideas and stuff. And they're actually in the book. And then on top of that, at his uh, website, Landlord Academy, they're there so you don't have to like scan them or type them out again. You could just go to the website and print them out. And then there's all these like educational references for that. So this, this is less a book. Like I would say this is more of a book and this is more of a textbook where there's a lot of actual examples in here and a lot of like, oh my gosh, let me see. See, I just flipped to a random page and it shows you examples of like contracts and stuff like that. But um, that can get really difficult to read because if you're reading through contracts and contracts and contracts and you're not used to that, that stuff can be confusing because the language, the way it's worded is strange and it could also be very mentally draining. But Hey, if you're going to get into real estate, that's what you're going to do. So you're going to have to read contracts. So I'd say this is like good practice or it's a good way to, um, let's see, spend $19 to figure out if you're even able to do that before you even try to buy a house. You can say like, oh, if I'm going to have to be reading a lot of contracts, here's some sample contracts. Let me read through those and see like, is this really for me? Because it's not like, oh, sign on a dotted line and make a million dollars. There's a lot of effort that goes into buying a house like with a strategy. Like anybody can buy a house, but if you're trying to buy it with a strategy at a good price and then use it as a tool in a business, 
it takes work and it takes planning and strategy and that takes understanding of these forms or building a team with people who have expertise you can rely on and people that you can trust and I think this book does a lot in just giving it to you how it is like um, hey this is this is a big thing this is important you should take care of it and here's a bunch of examples of how I I have taken care of it in the past or have how I've messed it up and learned from it and here's because I've learned Here's some forms that I use now that help me out. This part of the form is really important because this happens if you don't put that in. This part can protect you from that. Um, it even talked about this thing where, um, I guess if you want to evict somebody, but you collect um, payment from them, like if you collect rent payment from them, you can't try and evict them because they paid rent. And that's true even if they pay partial rent. So if your system allows somebody to pay partial rent, then they can pay like a dollar and they can be like, well, I paid. And then you can't evict them until the next eviction cycle or you need to fix that hole. So like using Venmo or something like that to collect rent can be dangerous because people can send you partial payments. And because it's through Venmo, you automatically accepted it. Um, whereas if you had to do a check or you had to do um, some other form where you needed to pay in full, then it would be different. So little things like that that um, aren't a problem until they are a problem, and then they might be a huge problem. And it talks about some, some cases like that. So um, like I said before, this book is a little bit difficult. It's a little bit dry, and it has a lot of textbooky knowledge. But that stuff's super important if you want to be a real estate investor. So I'd say it's totally worth it. And it was like only 19 bucks. So I got a lot out of this book. It's going to be kind of a reference book for me to go back to when, um, like if I end up buying houses, if I'm going to be doing lease agreements with tenants, if I need to be working on maintenance stuff, if I need to get my finances in order and like organize, okay, all this information is for this place, all this information is for that house. Um, I think this is a really good start to getting together like what even information do i need and this helps you with oh this type of information oh that type of information and from the starting point from the template you can like customize for your own type of business so the book is buy it rent it profit by brian m chavez uh it has so many just direct references like here is a um like a move in move out sheet so it's like yo before you move someone in walk the property with them and check out like all the major stuff to see if there's holes in the wall or if the appliances work and get both of you to agree to it. Cause when um, they move out and you're like, hey, you broke this, so I have to take your deposit. They'll be like, I didn't break that. But then you whip out your old move, move in checklist and it's like, see, we agreed that this was not broken when you moved in, but it's broken now, so that's on you. Um, so stuff like that I think is really good. It's about, let me see, 300 pages. Uh, it's worth it. I think it might take a little longer than some simpler books to read. But if you're choosing books to read just because they're simple, especially when you're talking about your education and something that you might end up spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in, which is real estate, I'd say, like, do the thing that's going to get you the information. Don't just do the thing that's easy. There are easier books that have good information, but... Um, I'd say try to get the information you need. Don't avoid things just because they seem difficult. A lot of times there's, there's some rare gems hidden in the complication. So the book is Buy It, Rent It, Profit by Brian M. Chavez. And I would say if you're serious about getting into real estate, this book has a bunch of recommendations that I think are cool. It has a bunch of references that I think are cool. And then it has that website that you can go to and it has way more stuff for you. This is just like, kind of the, the tip of the iceberg in terms of what Brian is trying to give out to the community. So I think it's a good book. Um, that being said, this has been Jordan Tremaine with another book review, and I'll see you guys later.